today on Be Something Wonderful. Manifest money and love instantly by doing nothing. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video this morning. It comes from a first-time client who I met with yesterday, but, I, but he's been a subscriber of the channel for quite a while. And I want to talk about some of the insights that he had and what's going on with him. His questions in this particular session that he really um, booked the session about was about a specific person. But he had some, what he called, instant manifestations and insights that I want to share with you. And he said, you know, Tom, I never really got that idea of instant manifestations. He goes, but then I watched some early videos on yours where you talk about instant manifestations. And, and then that recent video that, that, uh, that um, you released about a client uh, winning the lottery by affirming, I am God and there is no other. He goes, it was really that, those videos and, and me really going within that it clicked for me. And, and he goes, it, it was a sensation that felt really strange. And this is interesting because a few of you have said that. I think one, uh, one was a client, a couple were a client of mine. Again, that, that, that feeling of conviction, that feeling of, of that instant that you move to that idea that everything's already yours. I want to talk about this because he had some really big insights. And we've talked about the idea of instant manifestation. And some of you are going, well, how can I see it instantly in 3D reality? But that question, that belief that it's not instant, that belief that you, gotta do, that you have to work for it, work for money, that you've got to work for love, that you've got to deserve money, you've got to deserve love, that you've got to do things for it, you've got to manifest it, you've got to imagine it and then line up with it, you've got to affirm it, you've got to really do things for it is what keeps you from it. Do you see it? You're waiting and wanting something to happen in the future based on being worthy of it, based on being working for it, based on manifesting it, based on getting the process right. So I really want to hit what, what his insights and, and then really blow this up and unpack it a little bit more. This client said, since that video, that's the video, uh, we've, we've released many cents. It was a few weeks ago now, but there are other videos. And that, that this client won the lottery after he fell asleep. This is his words in his email to, I am God and there is no other, right? Since that video, he goes, I've felt an instant shift within me. Hear this, because this is the wording I think our friend Mike, who's a, who's, a, who's a subscriber on the channel, used as well. It's a strange feeling of a sort of controlled excitement. But he, this client used controlled excitement. I really like this because I, I think he's, try, he's trying to describe something that's not quite, he's not quite able to describe because then he goes, but control's not really the right word because you're not controlling anything. It's this excitement, this peace that passes all understanding of scripture. It's that joy or that conviction of being it already. You know it. That's why it feels controlled. It's, but it's excitement. Right? As Bashar says, follow your excitement. As Joseph Campbell, follow your bliss. It's still excitement. It's still joy. Why? Because it doesn't have the conditions on it anymore. You're not waiting and wanting. You, you know that if you desire it, the fulfillment must exist at the same time. One cannot exist without the other. This is really what he was getting at. There's no guilt. There's no conditions. There's no, no, no discussion about worthiness or fixing your self-concept or any of that. He, and, he, and here are some of his instant miraculous things. This is his words, mirac instant miraculous things happening. And, and he mentioned those videos on instant manifestation. These are older videos, right? But this idea is, is that it is instant. It's all done, right? Because you can't have a desire without its fulfillment. You can't have a desire without the desired. You can't have something desired without the desirer. They're one. You can't have one without the other. Here's what he got. This is what he said were instant. He got a huge bump in pay. He says he was just thinking about it. A few days later, he, he, he gets a bump in pay. He, got, he goes, he, didn't, he, he was only thinking about asking. He didn't ask, right? Or he asked within, if you think about it, right? He really did ask. He imagined it within. That's imagining, 
right? Thinking about it, right? An old girlfriend paid me back and we hooked up. This is interesting. It's the second time I've heard something like this from another client where an old girlfriend, as he was, as he was still, he was um, working on getting back with his SP. Those are his words, right? But that an old girlfriend contacted him that owed him some money. And they're just really good friends. Not this client. I'm going to talk about what happened with this client. This other client. And, and so, so she paid him back. So he's getting abundance. He's getting shown that love that he is. Same here. And he hooked up. So they got back. And, you know, they even discussed that they really do. They still love each other. Right? But it's just, but that's, you know, but he's focused on this other SP. We, and this other SP reached out. He said, he said, after nearly two months of nothing, to see how I'm feeling. And he started laughing, meaning feeling. Isn't that interesting? I just want to stop here. His, his insights were so powerful because I, I picked that up. He goes, I'm feeling. I go, yeah, that feeling, that shift, that conviction, that strange feeling. Remember, there's only one mind. There's only one energy. So if you feel it, others feel it. It, it, it can be no other way. As that, if that's your, as you set that intention, as you set that, as you are aware of that, as you point to that, right? As you put your awareness on it, your light on it. Do you see it? And then she wants to meet for coffee, but he he believes it's more. He feels he knows it's more, right? How could it be? It came so out of the blue, right? And then he also wanted to lease his first car. He had this old. He said it was an old clunker that he had from college and he, he wanted to get his first car. And he just mentioned to his parents, he's gonna lease a car, you know, cause he's got a great job, he's making money, he just got a bump day, <laughs> right? That was unexpected. But, but his dad just gave him, he said, it's a loan, but really I'm giving it to you. Do you see it, right? We're so used to loaning and giving and having this, that you gotta to have to do something for it. But even the father was indicating that, yeah, it's a loan, but you don't have to do anything for it. Do you see it? That's the paradox. Yeah, you're working for it, but you don't have to work for it. Yeah, you, you, you deserve, you, you, you want it, you're trying to deserve it, but you don't have to deserve it, it's already yours. You see it? It's really cool here, what we, what we got out of this. And his father gave him $15,000 towards him buying the car. So he, got, so, he, so he financed the rest, but he's buying it, it's his, it's gonna be his. Wow, that's powerful, I wanna hit this. Some of the things we talked about yesterday and other things that I hit with clients, but the big thing that came out of this session yesterday, a desire cannot exist without its fulfillment. <laughs> That's what instant manifestation means. So what's it about then? It's about you accepting that, accepting it as fulfilled now, not in the future after you, do, after you have to do something for it, whether it's working for it, or deserving it, or having to work on yourself, or having to manifest it, or getting, going to a self-help course to get work on your self-concept. That's all putting conditions on it. Accept it as fulfilled now. You don't have to deserve it. Be worthy of it. You already are worthy. You already deserve it by your right of consciousness, by your right of being, by your right of I am that. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to feel good. You don't have to manifest it. Right, and we even talked about that idea. Because I was one of those that felt like, okay, if I don't have to work for it, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, I where is it then? Okay, I, I don't want to work. Where's my money? And he got that idea that remember I've told you, if when you sit there and cross your arms and say, okay, I don't have to work for it, you're doing something. You're doing something. You're 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 actively, consciously resisting and demanding something that 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 can that you only earn by right of consciousness by right of already being that person for whom and through whom that reality is already real. And if you're sitting there saying, where is it? I'm, I'm not going to do anything. You're not that person for whom and through whom it's already real. He really got this, right? You don't have to do anything. That's clear. You saw the levels of creation. Doing in action is the lowest level. So what are you doing in 3D? Why are we here? Remember, to experience that, to have that, that knowing experientially, to know what we know, that fulfillment experientially. It's about being the identity of the version of you that has accepted your wish as fulfilled. Wow, hear that. Being the version that has accepted it. That's all it's ever about. So remember, there's only that unity of God. There's only one. One, 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 as Ernest Holmes says. 
I am God, there is no other. This is what really rang true to him, right? And he started, he started affirming, I am wealth, love, and, and health, and there is no other. I'll talk about that at the end. Giving equals receiving, cause equals effect, desire equals fulfillment, seek equals find, ask equals answered. That's instant manifestation. One cannot exist without the other. It's all done, it's all one. Do you see it? That desire and fulfillment, the desirer, for every desirer is a desired fulfilled. For every fulfilled desire, there's a desirer. It's because we stay in desiring and we put conditions on it that are not there, on fulfillment, right? Through guilt, through things we've learned, through not feeling deserving, not feeling worthy. And you always go, well, how do I feel it? Accept it as yours. Imagine it, assume it as yours. That's why we, that's what the process is for, to put your focus and awareness on what's already yours. Do you see it? That's the whole idea. You don't have to imagine it's already yours. You don't have to affirm it, but that, that affirming and that imagining calls it forth right, right now because it puts your focus and your light and your attention on it, right? You are one with source of God. There's only unity. There's only oneness. There's only fulfillment now. It doesn't exist in the past or future. God announces reality. God declares reality. God claims reality and becomes it in the announcing of it. There's no conditions, there's no quid pro quo, there's nothing on it, it's unconditionally yours. Wow, that's powerful. It's acceptance. I am that, that whole idea of I am that, assumes fulfillment. It, it's an acceptance. I am that is an acceptance of your, of your desire with gratitude as fulfilled now. This is what Neville says, when I speak a feeling, I've talked about this a few times, I wish fulfilled. I do not mean emotion, but the acceptance of the fact that it is fulfilled. Fulfilled. <laughs> my voice, losing my voice again. You are source energy, emotion. So you are the emotion. That's the strange feeling that he was describing and some of you others described. That's source energy. That's why it feels like sort of a controlled excitement. It's just excitement doesn't need to be controlled. It's spontaneous, it's source. So you already are that. Well, you, don't, you don't need the 3D emotions. Those are effects. Certainly you can, you can feel a 3D emotion of joy, of gratitude, of excitement, right? That implies that your wish is fulfilled. You can work from that side of it for sure because there's only oneness, there's only unity. Cause equals effect. So if you feel grat gratitude and fulfilled, then that desire must manifest because, you, because, that's, because it, that's the law of, ir, uh, of reversibility, right? If you, can, if, if you can feel gratitude for already having something, then, when you, then, then if you feel gratitude, it means you're going to have it, right? It's already yours. You are source energy, your emotion, I am, conviction, feeling of wish fulfilled. It's all that. That's the strange feeling. It's already there. It's yours, it's instant. So you couldn't desire anything. Here's really what we, what we got to. If you wanna really summarize it, you can't desire anything that's not already fulfilled. It's all part of the unity. It's a, your success is there, the money is there, the love is there. We say that a lot, but it is instant. And, and the waiting and the wanting is what's keeping you from it. The waiting and wanting and lacking is what keeps it thinking that there are conditions to be met, processes to master, self-concept work to do, that you're on a journey. And at the end of that journey, you'll get all you want. You'll get heaven. Because that's what we're taught, right? You'll go to heaven. You've got to experience hell and you'll go to heaven, right? The hell of 3D and then finally your reward is you go to heaven. It's right now. But do you see it? That, that the desire and the desired are equal. Even before they call, I will answer. This is what Jesus said. Remember, assuming it's done in yours equals accepting desire as fulfilled. That's the acceptance that Neville Goddard's talking about. That's, the, that's what my client is experiencing in his reality now. I am God and there is no other. I am health, I am wealth, I am love, and there is no other. I am is now, it's instant. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to deserve it. You don't have to manifest it. And you don't have to even feel good about it. Right? Oh, it's already yours. You are source energy. So thinking that you've got to feel a 3D emotion to earn it is bogus. You could, 
But remember, it's always just a translation of source energy. You're already that emotion. It's already there, right? I know, and we even use the word manifest in this video, in the title and the thumbnail. It's because what we're used to, but what's the message behind it? That when you desire it, it's fulfilled. Fulfillment, desire cannot exist without its fulfillment. It's our desiring, believing we have to do something for it, a condition to be met, even a metaphysical condition of a process, or anything else, or deserving it, or being worthy of it, or having to work for it, or earn it, all keeps you in wanting, waiting, and lacking. It puts limitations and conditions on source. Sure, you bang out manifestations, just from pure banging around in 3D and doing things. You're going to create things on that level? Sure. But think of all the effort. Think of, think, it's unlimited and we're put, we're, 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 we have a whole ocean of infinity at our fingertips and we're going there with a little teacup and saying, okay, I'm fulfilled. But you're not and you're never fulfilled. That's why you're always wanting more. Just bring, bring it all. Bring the whole thing. Within, know that the whole ocean's within you and you get to decide what part of that ocean you get to experience. So, all of it is yours. Do not go seeking for that which you are. Appropriate it, claim it, assume it, Neville got it. Very clear here. All is yours. Do not go seeking for that you are, for that which you are. Appropriate it, claim it, and assume it. And you, you always go, well, how do I do that? Imagine it. Assume it. Know it. Say it. Be it. Do you see it? It's all yours. It's how you create anything. Assume it's yours. Accept your desire as fulfilled. And you can do that by imagining it, by creating an image, right? Within creating an image in a state akin to sleep or in an alpha state or in a meditation. Or just claim it within. Create that frame. Carry that frame within you as fulfilled. And it is instant. But again, as you carry that frame, know it's done and then you will see it. And it does come instant. It's already done. That's what he felt, right? Stop looking for it and look as it, right? Because every time you look out there, that's why you don't see it instantly because you're looking for something. You're looking for evidence. Be the evidence and then it can't help but be there for you. You are the evidence, right? You can only desire what's already yours, right? So stop desiring it and desire as it. Do you see the difference? It's okay to desire, but desire as it, as fulfillment, as that it's already done. I am God and there is no other, and I'm money, love, and health, and there is no other. These are, these are what my client, to his go-to affirmations, where he's seeing money drop on his lap to get his car. He's seeing a bump in his pay, and an old SP wants to pay him back and hook up with him. And, and the new SP reached out because she wanted to see how he's feeling. And he's feeling great, <laughs> right? He's feeling source. Manifest money and love instantly by doing nothing. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting in the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful for joining our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen and our, and our um, membership channel, which is growing. If you're, if you're a member, thank you for joining. If you're not, join us. We have a live stream on August 6, 2023, right here on the membership channel in Las Vegas. We're gonna to come to you live at 9 a.m. in the morning on, on Sunday, August 6, 2023. Send your questions to info at besomethingwonderful.com. Those will be the questions that I'll be answering. With great love, with great light, infinite gratitude, creators, I'll see you soon.